Hey diary. So today and this week, there are people going through the worst day and week and month of their lives. When, right before my son died, he was visiting his family in New York and his friends. And uh, he was among us in a very, what seemed present way. Looking back on it, you know, people had those, those things to say, like, oh, he must have known, or there, it was so special, I'm glad that we had that. Whereas I am glad that we had that, I'm, my, my emotions then, when he died, I was so angry with him for doing this that I almost didn't and wasn't going to go retrieve his body. That's how, that's how pissed I was. And I couldn't believe that he would choose this because as soon as I, I learned what he did, I filled in blanks, you know. I was like, well, if he did this, he must have done these ten other things, you know. Like if he shot up and killed himself, he must have bought it. He must have called that person. He must have got it in his car. He must have gone to the bank. He must have put gas in. He must have, who the hell knows? But all that stuff had to be part of his deliberation. It isn't like, oops, oh, I found some heroin inside of a needle. My arm is accidentally tied off and, oh, it just happened. You know, it's, it's not that. It wasn't that with him. It was a lifestyle choice. Uh, because it takes over your life. I'm certain my son would, wouldn't have been able to continue in school and all that. Uh, nobody can do anything on this stuff for very long. Yeah, so parents right now going through the most wretched, heartbreaking time of their lives. And by wretched, I mean you want to throw up. Your insides are, are bile because you're so disgusted. You're, you're, you're wondering how you could have caught one more ball. You trust people. We trust people. We trust each other not to kill ourselves. When I, I've been pretty upset here a few times, a couple of times my daughter or my wife would say, hey, I'm worried about you. Like, really, this is, are you okay? And I would have to say, yeah, I am not going to hurt myself. And you don't need to wonder. And mean it. And know it to be true. I mean, this is like a basic, uh, you know, precondition of just trust. And that's the basic premise of all, uh, you know, everything working. Stay on your side of the road, you know. Want to get home. I think these drug users do want to live, but they don't, they're not thinking. I don't know. I really don't know. When I mention to, to drug addicts and they know that my son died, it's, it doesn't affect, doesn't seem to affect their personal, you know, relationship and moment that they're grappling with. They're like, oh yeah, well. More for me, you know. 
they, they don't get it as a warning that you're next or, you know, I don't know. The parents, the parents, the, the, the siblings, and the cousins. You know, we all shouldn't have to feel that, that this, this, this horror, this evil, this, um, you know, out of control thing uh, has wreaked destruction in our own family. My family, you know, my kids was small. I just have two, two children. I know my son was a good person. He was a, a person who helped people. He, he cared deeply. And he acted well for years. I could trust him. Or let's just say for years he did what we discussed. And there was no like, you know weird, surprising revelation that threatened to destroy everything. <sighs> Until the end. So even though my son was, was an exceptional person, and I, and I truly, I know that, and other people know it, uh, I'm not going to say it doesn't matter, but it doesn't matter. I said it. Because he is not a matter. If you want to take some of the spirit in which my son behaved and apply that to your own life, do it. But he ended up just as bad as the worst junkie. And... It almost makes it worse for me. Sometimes the parents of some really bad junkies have told me that their kids weren't always like that. They were good kids. They were sweet. They had senses of humor. It doesn't tell me a whole lot about their inner, you know, compass, but... You know, those things also develop and evolve. We become more moral as we grow inside. You know, we understand why we don't rip off our neighbors. We understand that it's not just the discomfort that it will cause us, but it's the pain that it causes them. And also, when we, when we cause happiness or amplify it, you know, help people do something, fulfill a dream. It's, it's the best feeling in the world. And people do that, have done that for me in my life. People I've never seen again. My son was going to do so many good things. And today I wake up with another one of his friends dead. Him still dead. And all the 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 mental work that I have to um, to do to survive this all that work that I'm going to do to survive this is not going to bring him back and these deaths are unjust that's a difficult word they're, 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 they're a death that 
is brought about by this outside agent mixing with our children. You know, so it's it's an accident is one thing, but this is like a sort of on purpose, you know, and so we're pissed off at them. Somewhat they can't help it. Who sold them the heroin? Where did I go wrong? All this shit, you know. When when I see other people going through this, I know to tell them because I can see it and hear it in their stories that nothing that you could have done would have changed what they were going to do. And that's why in these videos I talk to the junkies, to the drug addicts. And that's what you are. You're a junkie. If you're using junk, you're a junkie. And that's a very serious and a very ugly thing. That's a thing you don't want to be. I know there's people that will help you if you want to help you. As a parent, there has been uh, very little solace, you know, there's no like, there's no like greater meaning to the, to the actual thing that happened. I, I've discovered greater meaning about life and, and, uh, and death. Um, I'll carry that understanding into the other passings, which I hope will be more natural that will occur in my life. It's not that I was unwilling to do that. But this type of passing is bullshit. That's the word that I come up with. It is deceptive, selfish, unnecessary, premature, brought on by the perpetrator, supported by networks that are making tons of money, probably government, who the fuck knows? Where is the heroin coming from? Yeah, we should stop all that. We should get very aggressive about that. But if somebody brought in a truck of heroin, I wouldn't do it, you know? Because I know.